Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the program, you miserable, nasty cunters. And uh, this is an email that came in, it's a paid review from Chris. He goes, hi Archie, suggestion for a video, explain the Batik shirt. Despite morons in the comment comments knocking your shirt, Batik shirts are the default Indonesian formal attire and can and can work, uh, can be used in business meetings and even formal occasions. Much more suitable for the climate than a suit. The more expensive shirts are handmade using silk and even inlaid with gold thread. A top quality Batik shirt can cost over a thousand dollars. Hope you had a good time in Indonesia. I love the place and lived there for seven years. I think the Hotel Indonesia, now Kempinski, is a bit nicer than the Grand Hyatt, but all the hotels in the capital roundabout are good. The only trouble being that the roundabout is a demo central, and if there is a big demo, you can get stuck there all day. Not a problem! I love the Grand Hyatt. And uh, I gotta tell you, fuckers, I gotta tell you, it's... Uh, that is a very good point Chris raises. These are fantastic shirts. And uh, they really are the, uh, the default choice. They're such, a, they're such a cool shirt there. And uh, I've been honored. The, the humble billionaire actually sent me another one. Which uh, I'm really honored to, uh, to have received there. So uh, I love... I love my Batik shirts. They are fucking amazing. I reckon these are beautiful. They're expensive. These are not cheap. And uh, I just love them. You can, you can just... I just love them. You know that I really, really love them. And uh, they're just so cool. They're wonderful. They go well with your, your gold sub. Or they go with a sports watch. They're just, just really cool cool attire and uh, I really really love them they are so damn cool that uh, why would you when you're going to Indonesia it's good to do what the Romans do especially when it's as cool as a Batik shirt it's such a such a cool cool shirt there and a bit about Batik itself there it's an it's a it's a uh, Batik is a technique of wax resistant dyeing applied to a whole cloth Batik is made either by drawing dots and lines of the uh, resist with a spouted tool called a canteen or printing a resistant with a copper stamp with a cap. The applied wax resist dyes and therefore allows the artesian to colour selectively by soaking the cloth in another colour, removing the wax with boiling water and repeating if multiple colors are desired. The tradition of making batik is found in various countries, including Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, India, Sri Lanka, Philippines, and Nigeria. The batik of Indonesia, however, is considered to be the best. Batik, one of the wonders. And uh, in 19, sorry, 2009, UNESCO designated Indonesian batik as a masterpiece of oral and intangible heritage of humanity. There you go. And I'm a huge fan. I love, I love a quality piece of batik. And um, I got to tell you, I, I just love it. It's such, just, just for business wear. It just, it's just comfortable. It's really, really cool. So that's, um, that's the, uh, the story about a bit of batik there. And uh, I, I hope you, you really enjoyed it. Um, I got to tell you also, Chris also says to me, thanks for entertaining from the Archie Luxury channel. I've watched quite a few of your vids and had a few good laughs. I've even learned something about watches. So have sent you a donation, which I hope will help you in a small way to keep making videos. Don't mention me on the videos. Okay, Chris. I lived in Brisbane, but spent a lot of time in Southeast Asia, Indonesia, and Singapore. I'm not much of a watch collector. Just have a Rolex Subdate 16610 that I bought back 
but I bought new back in 2005. I do like the Man on the Moon, the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, as a great chronograph, and also like the GMT type watches, the GMT Master or Explorer 2. I'm not into dress watches that much. I'm a geologist and my hobby is scuba diving, so the sub suits me. I wear it every day and I had it serviced by Rolex five years ago. They usually give me a lecture about the scratches and damage the watch seems to build up every five years. Before I had a Omega Seamaster Quartz, but it flooded on me while diving. Had the battery changed in Singapore and the seal was not set properly. You're right about the big depreciation hit that comes for buying retail, but as a novice, I'd be worried about buying second hand. I think it's fine for an expert, but I'd be worried about bad parts in a watch or getting landed with a fake. Would appreciate any commentary on that. Anyway, all the best, and let don't let the haters get you down, Chris. Thank you so much, Chris. And I, I have to agree, a Rolex Submariner is a fantastic choice. And if you're going to buy new, if you're going to buy new... Sub, steel sub is not a bad, I'm wearing my, my gold sub. Not a bad choice there. And uh, I reckon that'd be a great, great trio. An Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, that could be your chronograph. And on the second hand market, Explorer 2's white dial, you can't get much cooler than that. Now my advice to you, Chris, you're right. You've got to be so careful when you buy second hand. If you're a novice, got to be careful. But my advice to you, contact a dealer who you can trust. There are many good watch dealers in Singapore. And uh, in Australia, I highly recommend Vintage Watch Co. That's with my friend Ronnie. He will look after you to a T. And uh, if you're in America, I recommend Jewelers on Time with Kenny Nguyen. And the wonderful thing is, you buy these pieces, you're not going to lose any money. I highly recommend buying from a reputable dealer. Don't go on Craigslist or eBay. Stop! But buying that from a reputable dealer, it'll cost you nothing. You always have your money there. And uh, i got to tell you, a steel sub... Fantastic choice. The 16610, that's already a classic because they've replaced it with the ceramic version. I think yours is cooler. See, mine's not a ceramic. I got the same vintage sort of watch. Mine's a, a mid-90s um, Submariner in solid gold. And uh, I, I have to agree with you. It just goes with everything from this Batik shirt to going to a brothel, going to a, uh, a business meeting. It just... It just, it just works. It works. So, uh, well done there. And uh, you've got to, if you're going to buy second hand, you're right. You've got to choose a good dealer. I'm Archie Luxury. Can, well done on your choices there. Fantastic collection. One piece, but get another piece. I reckon three would be perfect for you. Just do it. Life's too short to wear a boring wristwatch. I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third AC3. Tell me what you nasty foul mouthed vinyl fuckers think of that! Nice one, Archie. Great shirt. Love it. Cut! Yeah.